When the Big East made its merger, it was supposed to help out the conference for basketball. Certainly it did that on the hardwood, but it's doing it on the football field as well with a football machine in Connecticut, an inside track at the Sugar Bowl. And yes, we are talking about these same Huskies. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horwitz, glad to be with you on the Toyota College Football Preview. Number 16, Connecticut, 8-1 and one on the year. The only loss at Virginia by one point. They're taking on a 7-2 and two Cincinnati squad off a school record eight forced turnovers in the win at South Florida. And for more on that, we bring in Spencer Tillman from Houston, as we do every week. And Spence, you know, unprecedented history for Connecticut. Best start in 109 years of football. Most of that obviously was not in Division I, which makes this even more impressive. Uh, Cincinnati, great success, especially forcing turnovers with head coach Brian Kelly. Is that the key to this matchup? Yeah, turnovers will be. And again, just think about it. It took a record 31 points in the first quarter for the Bearcats to come away with the win. Of course, they had the eight turnovers, as you alluded to as well. That helped them along the way. But it's that early lead that they had in the eight force turnovers that gave them a chance to win late in the contest with under two minutes to play. They needed that to come away with the victory. So that tells you a little bit of something about these two teams when they come together, ranked third and fourth in turnover margin in the nation. It's going to come down to a low scoring contest. Whoever, at the end of the day, when you look at the ledger, whoever has the fewest amount of turnovers it's cliche but they're going to come away with the win in this game Spence I know you like the defenses in this game but uh, last week Rutgers went up to Connecticut and racked up 511 yards now I know they only came away with 19 points but that is a mm. lot of football ground to cover to only score 19 points yeah, that's a lot of ground can't, Connecticut can't get away with that at Cincinnati can they no, I don't think so, because I think when you look at what they do offensively, they're going to make you pay for it. But again, if, you're, if you have as a defensive unit, your attitude is to create turnovers and you can intimidate wide receivers, which Cincinnati certainly wants to get the ball to their receivers and get that balance attack working with their formation all. If you can generate turnovers, I think you can intimidate them a little bit. And I think that's really their saving grace in this matchup. Talk to me about the two quarterbacks in this game because you've got two guys that are pretty much unknown across the country in, in mm -hmm. Ben Mock at Cincinnati, yeah. and you've got Tyler Lorenzen at, at UConn. What do you like about those guys, specifically Mock? Well, well, both of them are stewards of systems that don't really require them to do a whole lot. Again, the defense defines, particularly in UConn's case, their attitude and their temperament. In that regard, they're a lot like maybe not so much in terms of overall ability, but like at Ohio State. It's about defense first. That's how they win championships. Uh, so I think this UConn team, if they run the table the rest of the way out, they will have done it as a result of their defense. Uh, again, conversely, Cincinnati is similar, but just a few more weapons on the offensive side of the ball. It all begins, of course, at quarterback. Ben Mock is a guy that has some skills sets, has some talent, not the most efficient guy. Sometimes he is inconsistent. His mechanics kind of get out of whack. But at the end of the day, either one of these teams are not going to win it with their offense. It's going to be their defense. And again, it's going to be the reoccurring theme throughout this contest. <laughs> it should be something fun to watch. Spence, UConn has the Big East lead by a game and a half. They still have to play at West Virginia to end the season. It'll be for the Big East crown. Who wins this one? Well, I'm going to go with UConn. They're the darlings. They're, they're basically the Rutgers of this year. But let's just hope they don't respond like Rutgers did. Because every time Rutgers gets in that high rent district, they tend to slip back down real quick. But I'm going with UConn for right now. Every time. It's only happened twice, last year and this year. <laughs> well, look at, look at the record. Uh, three times they've got cracked that top ten or twice in the top ten. That following week they laid an egg. Very, very true. UConn not in the top ten just yet. But if they keep winning, they may be for that final game at West Virginia. Spence, we will see you on Saturday afternoon. All right, Jason. Folks, UConn hasn't beaten Cincinnati. They've played three times, lost all three. They're looking to snap that streak. It starts at 3.30 p.m. Eastern. For more on this game or any other, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com. Watch everything else on the CBS Audience Network. For Spencer Tillman, I'm Jason Harwood. Take care.